So if you were to ask people how long it takes for a habit to form, most people will tell you 21 days. This idea can be traced back to a book called Psycho-Cybernetics, uh, published in the 1960s by Dr. Maxwell Maltz. So Maltz didn't actually make this claim, he just it was just a reference to the studies that he was doing and that he observed amongst himself and the group of people that he was analyzing. He wrote that it takes on average 21 days for an old image to dissolve and for a new one to gel. As the book became more popular, I think there was like 30 million copies sold or something, um, it just it just became fact, or people just accepted it as fact. But according to a published study done by the British Journal of General Practice, uh, habits are actions that are triggered automatically in response to contextual cues that have been associated with their performance. And this is kind of what I've been talking about. The more that you do something, the easier it becomes to do. Practice makes perfect. We all know about that. So when it comes to addiction, um, they've, they've found in this study that um, it takes about 66 days. 66 days is like the magic number for a habit to actually dissolve and for new ones to start. Now it can take up to, uh, I think, 266 days. 266 days for a new habit to form. So here I am in active addiction. I'm trying to break my habit of addiction and I'm in this cycle. Well, every time that I, you know, have these triggers or whatever, I have to break that habit and form new ones. So I, I get triggered. What did I used to do? I used. So what do I do now? I go work out, I take my dog for a run, whatever it is, whatever it makes you happy. But that's how you break those habits. And it takes on average 66 days for a new habit to become automated. So when you automate a habit in your mind, it frees up mental space for, for you to remember other things, for you to you know use that brain capacity in other areas of life. And according to the National Institute of Health, pleasure-based habits such as drugs uh, take a lot more effort and a lot more time to break those habits, uh, still in the still in that 266 day window. So it's kind of interesting that we go to rehab programs that are 60 days long, 90 days long. So really the first step is just understanding your habits. What is it that I'm doing? Why is it that I'm doing this? And then when those mental pictures pop up, try to break that image and form a new one so that new plasticity can form. But help me was forming new habits and I was able to get away from that neuroplasticity that had formed. So if you wanna hear a little bit more about habits or whatever, please let me know. Thank you and I'll catch you next time.